Hello there. For today, we are going to discuss about appendicitis. If you want to know more about that, stay tuned. Hi everybody, if you're new here, my name is Nia Gaben. I'm a registered nurse and I do have a degree in medical surgical nursing. I create nursing educational content to help nursing students with their studies. If that's something that you are interested in, consider subscribing. If you're already subscribed though, thank you so much for your love and support. I see you. I upload my nursing educational content two to three times in a week. Don't miss that out. Subscribe now. Hit that notification bell so that you will be the very first to watch my newest uploads. Also, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and share with your friends because that will really help me know that you like to see more contents like this. Without further do you ready let's jump into the video hi nurses for today we are going to discuss about appendicitis this is one of the most common cases gi um problems or gi emergency cases that we normally encounter in the er so we might as well you know brush up just a little bit and refresh our knowledge about appendicitis i will give you the clinical manifestations how to diagnose it description all of that all of that all of that good stuff in order for me to do that, I will need to switch back to my PC and I'll see you guys in a bit. Hi everybody, welcome to our formal discussion ng yung appendicitis. Yes, for today, this is another medical surgical nursing uh, topic that we're going to talk about for today. Yes, we're going to discuss about clinical manifestation ng yung appendicitis. Now, let me share to you our objectives for our today's discussion. So, we're going to talk about the description, clinical manifestations, diagnosis, and treatment treatment. Handa ka na. Let's begin. So, we're gonna start our discussion with description. Ano nga ba ang appendicitis? Mm, itis, itis, alam na. Pag may I-T-I-S uh, suffix ng isang term, yun ay may inflammation. So, here we go. Appendicitis, also known as epithelitis, is the inflammation of the appendix, which is a small finger-like appendage attached to the secum. The appendix is a small finger-like appendage attached to the secum just below the ileocecal valve. Because the appendix empties into the colon, if efficiently and its lumen is small it is prone to becoming obstructed and is vulnerable to infection kaya nga tinatawag siyang infection inflammation appendicitis now clinical manifestations Okay, so when I talk about pain, it's a vague epigastric or periumbilical pain progresses to right lower quadrant. Pain usually accompanied by low-grade fever, nausea, and sometimes vomiting. Ano pa? Tenderness. In 50% of presenting cases, local tenderness is elicited at McBurney's point when pressure is applied. Ano ba yung ating McBurney's point? Ito po siya, oh. Yes, it is the, 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 the part between your iliac spine and your umbilicus. Ito po ang inyong McBurney's point, alright? So, when you apply pressure to this area, normally, magkocomplain ng pain ng iyong pasyente. Alright, rebound tenderness. Mm, alam mo to, itong Rovsing sign. Okay, rebound tenderness or production of intensification of pain when pressure is released. Paano to? Ganito siya. O, pinapalpate mo siya dito sa left. And then, yung pain na mararamdaman ng pasyente is papunta sa right lower quadrant. Again, ikokondak mo ang yung palpation sa left lower quadrant. And when you ask your patient kung ano yung nararamdaman niya, if there's any pain and where is the pain, that patient will specifically tell you that the pain is located in the right lower quadrant. Kasi di ba ang normal na pain natin kung saan mo nilagay yung pressure doon magkakaroon ng pain. A rousing sign may be elicited by palpating the left lower quadrant. This paradoxically causes pain to be felt at the right lower quadrant. Alright, ano pang mga other signs and symptoms mo? Ito siya. Meron tayong high fever with cold sweats. Mm -mm, Namumutlig-mutlig ang pawis niyan kasi nga sobrang sakit. May fever din. Bakit? May inflammation. ITIS. Loss of appetite. Walang gana sa pagkain kasi nga in pain ang yung pasyente may problema sa GI. Ano pa? Nausea, vomiting, and diarrhea. What else? General feeling of illness. Okay? 
So, paano nga ba natin dinadiagnose ang iyong um, appendicitis? Paano siya tinitreat? Alright, here we go. Clinical signs and symptoms. Ito po, dito mo siya i-diagnose. Meaning, yung mga diniscuss natin manifestations with um, laboratories. Kasama na dyan yung increased WBC. Bakit may, bakit may increased WBC? Kasi may inflammation. The body is really trying to fight that infection within. Alright, abdominal sonogram. Ito mga diagnostic tool to. Siyempre, para makita mo kung ano nangyayari, kung may inflammation, normal ba? Kanyang uh, GI tract or any problems sa GI organs niya. You need to do whole abdominal ultrasound. Alright, exploratory laparotomy. For treatment, immediate surgery is typically indicated if appendicitis is diagnosed, okay? Now, ano ba yung mga surgical management natin na binibigay natin sa pasyente uh, may appendicitis? Well, we have your appendectomy. Now, appendectomy or the surgical removal of the appendix, remember, ectomy removal. This is performed as soon as possible to decrease the risk of perforation. Ano yung perforation natin? Ito yung pag ng ating appendix. Tandaan kasi na kapag once na nag na ang iyong appendix, mawawala na agad yung pain. Yung pain na nararamdaman ng pasyente mo. And that is actually a good indication na nag-perforate na yung iyong appendix. And sa case ng appendicitis, you really don't want that. So as soon as possible, you wanna do an immediate surgery. Appendectomy po tayo. Next, can also do laparotomy and laparoscopy. Both of these procedures are safe and effective in the treatment of appendicitis with perforation. O yun, nag na. Bakit iniilap? Chine-check, nililinis po kasi natin yan para ma-avoid ma natin yung peritonitis. Okay? Due to the ruptured of your appendix, pwede magkaroon nyo ng, ng infection dito sa ating GI tract and that could lead to peritonitis. You don't want that. Okay? Alright. So, once again, thank you so much you guys for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe to my channel for more nursing educational contents. Maraming maraming salamat nga po sa lahat ng inyong suporta. Parami na nga po tayo ng parami. Huwag ka limutang ipamalita sa radyong sira ang libreng review center sa YouTube. I'll see you again next time. You guys stay safe. Thank you so much you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed this one. Help me grow my channel. Oh, you're already here. You might as well subscribe. Hashtag Team cool Talk. Give this video a big thumbs up and share with your friends. Let me know what you guys think. Put them down in the comment section below. Also, don't forget to check out the other playlists and nursing educational videos I created for you. I'll be putting it on the description box or simply click this icon button right here. Let's connect. Follow me on all my other social media accounts. Everything is at Neil Gabby. I'll see you again.